A Lincoln family who recently spent a few weeks in the NICU at Bryan Health is giving back to the unit. They've donated special speakers to give babies some extra love and stimulation. Channel 8's Alexis Gineski has the heartwarming story as we cover Lincoln tonight. Meet Zeus Stallone. He came into the world just one month ago on October 12th, 11.55 p.m., nearly six weeks before he was due. And his victory arms, I'd say all the time. <laughs> he is doing amazing. Um, we were born at four pounds, 12 ounces. Yeah. And um, we are now six pounds, 0 0.08 ounces. Dania went in for a regular checkup last month at her 34 week mark. Little did she know she'd be giving birth to Zeus, her fifth son, just hours later. And within, I'd say, seven to 10 minutes, they had already maxed out my blood pressure. Um, called the on call and they said, nope, go ahead and take her up to labor and delivery. She said, okay, I'm sorry, but we are going to have to bring that baby home now. Dania spent the next two weeks in the NICU at Bryan East with her husband, Darren, by her side. Their other four children were unable to see baby Zeus due to COVID protocols in the neonatal wing, and they both agree that was one of the hardest challenges. But one thing did bring peace to the whole experience, music. A Bluetooth speaker the DeLone family kept in their room played calming lullabies on repeat to stimulate baby Zeus, something that's become a tradition in their household. Music in general was something that we played for our second born, um, and I played it um, while he was in utero most of the time, and then when he came out, we were just, it was specifically classical, um, and with that, we saw a huge improvement in his cognitive ability. The music carried through the hallways of the NICU and got a lot of attention from Brian's staff. What we just kept hearing every time someone came in was how soothing and peaceful it was. And as soon as, I don't know, maybe like the 10th person came in, he just looked at me and he was like, we need to do this for every baby. We need to make sure that every baby has this opportunity because what we were learning is that 50% of the babies there didn't have the parents there. The DeLones have now donated 22 of these Bluetooth speakers to the NICU, one for every room. Marissa Hernandez, a nurse that worked closely with the DeLones, say these speakers will be a great addition to the neonatal intensive care unit. They can now record mom and dad's voice and play it for the baby to hear. That's the most calming for those babies because they're missing out on that intrauterine um, time with mom and dad having that voice. So that actually helps create and continue that bond with them. Through it all, the DeLones are just happy to be giving a little piece of their tradition to every baby that comes through the NICU. It was definitely different, but you, you made it fun. Reporting in Lincoln, Alexis Gineski, Channel 8 News.